What's going on guys? DJ Trev, excellent sound crew. And today we have a ZLX 12P by EV. And uh, I bought this broken. And the goal is to get this up and running like it was brand new again. So let me give you a little bit of context about this speaker. So the original owner reached out to me and said, hey Trev, I got this ZLX 12P. It doesn't turn on. And it's been in my backyard sitting outside for about a year. Do you want it for $50? I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll take it. I'll fix it. I'll see what's up, right? I got the speaker and man, it was dirty. Uh, the grill is all rusty. I'll show you guys that in a second. This is what the grill looks like. We're gonna spray paint this later, but that's not what the point of this video is. That's kind of easy. Anyway, the, the box itself was in really bad condition. There was cobwebs all over here. There was bugs all over. I cleaned it up. That should have been a video in itself, but I just sprayed it with some Simply Organic. I just sprayed it with some of this stuff, Simple Green. This is not a paid ad, but this is what I used. It's good stuff, man. It gets everything clean. The amp, as the owner said, did not turn on. And I gave it, I gave the amp to my friends over at Pro AV Customs to take a look at it because uh, they specialize in looking at the components inside the amp and finding exactly what's wrong. This was meant to be a cheap fix, right? Like I didn't want to spend a lot of money on repairing this thing. So I wanted to make this old amp, the original amp work instead of replacing with the new amp. And of course, my good friends at Pro AV Customs, let's turn it on. The amp turns on and works beautifully. No issues, the amp is great. But then, turns out the woofer is also blown. Owner didn't tell me that. So now I'm like, dang, I just paid these guys at Pro AV uh, Customs to fix my amp, they didn't charge me a lot, good friends of mine. But now I have to figure out this woofer. And the woofer was about $250 for a replacement. I didn't want to do that. So all over the internet, I saw this woofer as a replacement. It's a 12 inch, 500 watt, eight ohm woofer. This is also a 12 inch, eight ohm woofer. I think this is like a, oh, come on. It's broken anyway, so who cares? It's about, um, I think it's 400 or 450 watts on the peak. So this is technically doing a little bit more. This also is like 50, 50 watts more on the program slash continuous. It's all the same thing, but we're gonna put this woofer in and see if it sounds good. Now, typically I'm not a fan of doing this. I am always pushing all my friends and anyone who asks me get the OEM original components. But again, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on this. This woofer was 60 bucks on Amazon. So let's get this in and let's see if it works out. So we have our brand new 12 inch Harmony Audio woofer right here. I put it up top and try to line it up and it could not line up with the existing holes. So what I've done is I've filled in the old holes with silicone, right? And I'm letting that dry. When we install the new woofer, we're gonna create new holes uh, to mount it we needed to fill in the old ones because those would result in an air leak. And now to be honest, I'm not entirely sure silicone is the way to go, but it's, I have it, didn't need to buy it. Let me know in the comments if you would have filled this in with something else. So here I marked the terminal on the right side as negative and the terminal on the left side is positive. That's the battery I use, AA battery. All you do is put your wire on both terminals and then you do a light tap to the positive and negative. If the woofer goes outward, it's correct. If it goes inward, then you gotta flip it. So now we know this side, left side's positive, right side's negative. So let's get this plugged up. So before I go ahead and start putting the screws in, I pre-drilled some holes using a bit, a drill bit, all right? Small holes, so that way the screws go in nice and neat. I've had this happen once before when I was younger where I was mounting a woofer and I was trying to put the screw in without pre-drilling and the screw ended up into the woofer. So I learned my lesson, pre-drill the hole. And with that, the woofer has been mounted and we're gonna plug it in and see how it sounds. Feel the 
So for right now, initial impressions, I'm pretty happy. You know, 60 bucks for the woofer, $50 for the speaker. I don't wanna say how much I paid Pro AV Customs to fix my amplifier because I did get a family friend discount type thing. And I'm pretty happy. This speaker is not meant to be a main. I'm not using this as a main speaker. This is for cocktail hour, light music. If I need a boot speaker next to me, you know, just really light stuff. So unfortunately, I can't tell you how this woofer compares to the OEM EV factory replacement woofer. I can't tell you if this is a better woofer for a fraction of the price. I can't tell you that because I don't have a working EV woofer to put this side by side with. If I have the opportunity to put this next to a working all original factory EV ZLX Toll P, I'll do that and I'll be able to tell you. But I think if these EV ZLX 12 P's are not your main speaker, give this $60 woofer a shot. What do you gotta lose? So we caught some nice weather. I already sanded the, um, the grill here and I did a first coat, but you can see we still have some high spots here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to do another, I'm gonna have to sand it again and then go back over it with uh, maybe two or three coats. And this will be looking brand new again. And here it is, all completed. It's looking pretty nice. Um, you know, a fresh coat of paint does wonders. Let me know what you think of our final product in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. DJ Trev out.